morning friends, we're bringing ourselves into a nice comfortable seated pose, whatever that might be. A soft press into the tailbone, a lengthened lift through the vertebrae from the tail all the way through to the crown of the head. Today's practice is going to be a, a short flowing sequence, just twisting out some of those deeper held tensions in the body that will kind of build up during the week. So let a tail press the mat, extend gently through the vertebrae to the crown. Our exhale, let shoulder blades draw back down, soften, sink away from the ears and let the hands roll, palms up. Our inhale, full length of an inhale, bring chest, chin, gaze and fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling, lengthen. And the exhale, turn palms out the full length of the exhale, let the fingers soften and sink all the way back into the mat. Reverse that, inhaling, hands sweep up and extend. And the exhale, this time, right hand find the floor behind, left hand to the right knee, press the tail on the inhale, extend you. And the exhale, right shoulder, elbow, take you a little deeper into the twist. So not forceful, use the exhales as a tool to just gently let go. And an inhale, sweeping hands towards the ceiling, lifting heart, lifting chest, lifting chin, and exhale, Take left hand to the floor behind, right hand to left knee. Again, the eye inhale, extend you. And the exhale, left shoulder, elbow, take you a little deeper into the twist. So we're looking for space rather than forcefulness for the spine. Each exhale, a little release, a little deepening of the twist by drawing shoulder and ribs to open a little bit more space. Inhaling, hands sweep up and extend. Lift chest, lift chin, lift gaze. Exhaling. Soft sigh, hands sweep in a big circle all the way around to find the mat. As they touch down, lengthen from tailbone, heart and chest and chin press forward and the hands arc as far forward as they're going to go. A steeple to the fingers, walks the hands forward and our exhale, begin to let the palms, the forearms, the elbows soften and sink to mat. A let go from tailbone all the way through the vertebrae, through the neck to let the head gently hang, the shoulders soften and effort and release, just gently let go. So it's not about the distance, it's all about the softness and it's all about the release. So don't worry about how far forward we come. It could be just half a millimeter. And inhale, begin to steeple fingers and walk them forward. Our exhale, walk hands around to the right side, twisting, turning, sternum and chest over the right thigh, and the exhale, let palms, forearms, elbows soften, sink, just gently into the mat. So it's a really nice place here to let the eyes soften and close, just to feel. Each exhale, just deepening, deflating ribs and chest, just sinking nose and chin that little bit deeper. And an inhale, steeple fingers, walk them back to center. Exhale, left side. Twist, turn, sternum over the thigh. We exhale, let palm, forearm, elbow, soften, sink down. One more time each side. Inhale, walking that back to center. Exhaling, right side. Again, palms, forearms, elbows, soften. But this time, left hand, sweep and rest its way to sacrum or fine, top of the right thigh behind the back. Each exhale, beginning to draw right elbow a little deeper in towards the mat. And our inhale, if we're going to take this a little stronger, draws left shoulder back. Soft, takes gaze just gently over the left knee and we exhale and let right ear sink towards the shoulder. Again, a few breaths here, or we take this stronger and the inhale sweep, left hand out, lift chest, ribs out to fingers and the exhale, soften side bend over to the right side, but we're pinning left hip down to bring the stretch, reaching gently out to fingers. Gaze comes down, our exhale, find fingers to mat, and we walk hands around to the left side. Again, just gently twisting, turning, sternum and chest, letting palms and forearms soften and sink. Right hand, sweeping gently around for sacrum or top of the left thigh behind the back. Each exhale, softening, left forearm, elbow towards the floor, and the inhale, draw, right shoulder back. Again, gaze, right knee, softening left ear to shoulder, or, Take the gaze all the way back through the right shoulder, just gently broadening, opening across the chest, and right hand, 
Sweep up, lift shoulder, lift ribs. And the exhale, soften side bend over to the left side. Perfect. Inhale here, sweep, right hand to sky. Open chest and the exhale, bring right fingers back into the mat. From here, fingers, they slide back. About a handstand back, there's a gentle pressure to palms. Shoulders roll back and heart, chest, chin lift. We're tucking the chin if we've got troubles with the neck today, but if the neck is fine, maybe the gaze work its way a little higher. Step, soles of the feet out into the corners of the mat. A gentle press to palms, rolls the shoulders back and lifts the sternum, the heart, the chest that a little bit deeper. Strong enough, or if we feel that we can, press gently into our feet, lift the hips, come all the way up to reverse table. Two breaths. And our exhale, let hips gently soften and sink back into mat. Cross the shins, press gently to palms. Hands here, they're gonna sweep as far forward as they're gonna comfortably go. Choices, we can walk ourselves forward into all fours, or if that's a little strong, hands go one way, feet go the other. We bring ourselves in to all fours. So press through the knuckles, spreads the fingers nice and wide like a fan. Knees hip width and the backs of the feet lightly pressed down. Majuasana, cat cow. Inhaling, belly dipping down, chest pressing forward, gaze coming forward, tailbone pointing up. And the exhale, little way from the tailbone through the vertebrae, presses palms and shoulders to floor as the spine arches to sky with a tuck in the chin. Inhaling, moving with breath, belly dipping down, chest pressing forward, gaze coming forward. Exhaling. Arching, hug the navel, this time bring the hips back into the heels. Child's pose, but not to stay. The inhale keeps the chest nice and low, comes forward back into cow pose. Chest, chin, gaze coming forward. Exhaling, arching, way through the spine. But this time we're tucking the toes. Hips pressing to heels, press and lengthen through the palms, through the arms, through the ribs, toward the tail. Push gently away the floor to a really soft, bent leg downward facing dog. And our inhale brings knees back to mat. And untucking the toes, the chest, the chin, gaze comes forward back to cow. Exhaling, arching, hugging navel, hips into heels. Inhaling, belly gaze coming forward, back into cow, but the change this time. Hug the navel, left hand is sweeping out to side, shoulder height or a little higher. And the exhale, feed, left hand under, right shoulder, palms up, let left shoulder and ears soften, sink into that. Keep this soft, maybe. Right palm is gently pressing into floor in front of chest. Or we can take it a little stronger. Right hand, walk its way to the top of the mat. A pressure into right palm, lengthen through the ribs, the hips out to the tail. A gentle pressure into the back of left forearm. And then gently let go. Each exhale is a soften, each exhale is a release. Just two more breaths. Inhales, finding right hand back into mat and pressure. Inhale, push away the floor with the right palm, sweep left hand up to the ceiling. Follow the hand with the gaze as deep as that's going to go. And the exhale, find left hand back to mat. Change, hug the navel, right hand sweep out as high as that's going to go. And the exhale, feed right hand under left shoulder. Again, right shoulder, ear soften, sink into mat. Left palm gently pressing to floor in front of chest or left hand walking its way overhead. Pressing through the palms, through the knuckles, a little grip with the fingers like claws. Lengthen through the arms, the ribs, all the way through to the hips. Just three breaths here. Soft extension with the left arm. Soft gentle pressure with the right forearm into mat. Next inhale, hugs the navel, draws left hand back in front of chest, pressure. Inhale, push away the floor, sweep right hand all the way up to the ceiling. And the exhale, unwind, fingers find mat. Hands here, walk as far forward as they're going to go. Press through the knuckles and grip the fingers like claws. A tucking the toes brings hips all the way back into heels, extended child's pose, forehead rest for two breaths, but lengthen through the palms, through the arms, through the ribs, towards the tail. A gentle pressure into toes. Bring gaze forward towards the thumbs. 
push away the floor, coming up to a really soft, bent leg down, facing dog. Chest press towards the thighs and pedal right heel down, draw left knee in, left heel down, right knee in. It's just pedaling a couple of times. World's slowest walking rate. Next inhale, both knees in towards the chin, towards the chest. Press and lengthen energy through the palms, through the arms, bring the hips back in towards the heels. As you exhale, straighten through the backs, legs into tiptoes. Find the hip toes, hip width, and the exhale, let heels soften, draw gently towards the mat. Chest in towards the thighs. Broaden, open, cross the chest. Gaze coming forward between the thumbs. A walk, a step, or a little hop of the feet through top of the mat between the hands. Chest lifting halfway. And we continue with our pedal. Draw left knee in towards the chin to chest and the right thigh push gently back. Change. Left heel press down, we press back the thigh, right knee draw in towards the chin, towards the chest. Again, just pedal with the legs a couple of times. Next time, the inhale brings left knee into the chest. Let it stay. Press back into right thigh. Press the left fingers, hug the navel, and right hand is going to sweep all the way towards the ceiling. Pushing energy into left fingers, extend to right. Exhale, brings gaze down. Right hand, find the floor. Left heel, press down. Draw right knee in. Press the right fingers, and the inhale, take left hand all the way towards the ceiling and extend. Exhale, gaze comes down, left hand, heel, find the mat, chest gently lift halfway, and the exhale, walk fingers back in towards the toes. Bend the knees, bring the hips back as if they're going to sit back into a chair, gaze, chest, chin, gaze coming forward, hands reaching forward, shoulder height, chair, two, three breaths here, push away gently the floor. And the inhale, sweep you all the way up towards the ceiling. Here, a soft pressure into tips of toes. Interlace the fingers, press the palm towards the sky and extend. If you want to make this a little stronger, press into tiptoes, lift the heels. Our exhale is a soft side bend to the left side. Pressing evenly to toes, evenly to palms, gently lifting right side rib to deepen the stretch. Inhale brings that back to center. And exhale is the right side. Wonderful. Inhale, bring that back to center. Exhale, let's hands and heels gently sink down to mountain pose. Roll the shoulders back, extend the hands towards the floor, push gently energy to the feet and extend through to the crown. Hug navel and step right knee forward. Tiptoe, or interlace the fingers around the right shin, push away the floor and lengthen through the left side, from left foot all the way through the ribs to the crown. Hug navel. A point or a flex in this right foot, just finding focus, letting breath slow, letting mind slow. Only move when you feel right. Only move if you want to. Feel no need to keep up. And be really kind to ourselves. If we fall, a hug on navel. Let's left hand gently open and out to side. Curl in first finger and thumb. When we're balanced, a hug on the navel opens right knee out to side. Wonderful. From here, let right hand slide down to top of foot, ankle. We draw right heel into the hip, right knee in together. So. This right hand at top of the foot or the right hand find the inside edge of the right foot. Take left hand to the ceiling, push gently through that left side, heel to fingers, crown, left hand reach the sky, but as you exhale, kick away the right heel. Natural jazz in a dancer's pose. So we're folding gently at the hips. You'll naturally tilt as we lift the heel. It's kind of up to you how deep you want to go. Just be brave, lift heart, lift heel. Crown and left arm still reach the sky. One last breath. And inhale, lift the chest. And the exhale, let it go back to mountain. 
Shoulders roll back, hands extend, press the soles of feet, extend the crown, step gently left knee forward. And again, an interlace in the fingers around that left chin, push away the floor and extend to the crown. So flexing left foot, spreading toes. Only moving when we feel right. Right hand, open, shoulder height, left knee, follow. Again, strong enough. Or let hands slide to shin, to ankle, draw left knee in together, draw left heel into the hip, hand top of foot or hand finding the inside edge of the left foot. Press and extend through the right foot all the way through the ribs. Lift the shoulder, extend the right fingers. Our exhale, kick away the left heel. Lift the heel, lift the thigh, and the gaze just gently forward through the wrist or fingers. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the chest. Step you gently back on the exhale. Press the tail back at the top of the mat when we're ready. Our inhale, sweep the hands towards the ceiling, lift the chest, lift the chin, lift the gaze. Maybe a hook gently in the thumbs, the elbows and the shoulders draw back. Hips and heart press forward. Push energy to feet to feel like you're lifting the heart towards the ceiling. And the exhale, swan dive, fold. Hug the navel. Fingers looking for mat, so bend the knees as much as you feel you need to bring them to mat. Our inhale, lift the chest gently halfway. And step, right foot, all the way to the back of the mat. Press to tail, lengthen through the vertebrae. Our inhale, sweeping hands all the way for high lunge, elbows, shoulders, back alongside the ears. Push energy into that right heel, nice and straight and strong. Soften in the front knee. And exhale, let hands find heart center, gentle pressure, sink right knee into the floor. Hug navel, fold forward at the hips. Let fingers frame that left foot, spread the toes. Push little energy to the left heel and hug gently on the exhale, that left hip back. Half split, gently draw navel in and turn the sternum, chest a little deeper over the left thigh. Exhaling, palms, forearms, elbows, soften to sink, chest towards the thigh, the crown towards the toes. Each exhale, a little soften, a little release. Gazes forward, kick into that back shin, coming back into lunge, a tuck in back toe, lifts the back knee. We step back into plank. Choices. If we're working a little softer today, left knee is finding the floor. We're turning left foot back and right foot down. Push the left palm for side bend. Option two. Feet either stacking together or feet hip width. Roll the heels towards the left side. Press the left palm. Sweep the right hand up to ceiling. Lovely. From here. A little stronger takes it to wild things. Stepping right tiptoe to the floor behind left knee. Push energy to right tiptoe to lift the hip. Turn the sternum, chest to gaze to ceiling, and right elbow, shoulder back alongside the ear. Unwind it. Bring that back into plank. Knees find the mat. Untuck the toes. Hug elbows in, knees, chest, chin, baby cobra or cobra. Hug the elbows in, but Engage the glute muscles, extend energy from the hips out to the toes, heart and chest and chin press forward. And maybe there's a soft pressure to palms, just lift the chest to breath. And the exhale, let it go. Forehead fine man. A tuck in the toes brings hips back into heels, but to pause, extend. Child's pose, let forehead rest, but keep the pressure through the palms, the arms, the ribs. If the heart's thumping, just gently exhaling through the mouth. Let the heart slow a little quicker. The next inhale takes the gaze forward between the thumbs. Soft pressure through the palms, lengthen through the arms coming back. Downward facing dog. Gaze to thumbs, a walk, a step, or hop a feet through, top of the mat. Chest gently lifting halfway. A dip in the knees, 
push away the floor or inhale, sweep the hands, the chest, the chin, the gaze to sky. Again, elbows, shoulders, draw gently back to deepen the arch and the exhale to unwind. Hug navel, sink, fingers to mat. Chest gently lift halfway, step left foot back. Beautiful. Suppressing energy back into those left toes, balls of the feet. If this is a little strong, back knee comes down, but turn the palms out. The inhale, peel the belly away from the thigh, high lunge. Palms find each other, elbows go nice and wide. As the hands sink to heart, back knee sink to floor. Hug navel and fold. Fingers frame the front foot. There's a flex in right foot and a spread in the toes. We push gentle energy to right heel. Bring right hip back. Hug the navel and turn the sternum over that right thigh. Let palms and forearms, elbows soften and sink down. Cool air, warm air, passing through nostrils, just letting eyes soften. Kick into that shin, walk the hands back in to lunge. Again, tucking back toe, lifting back knee, stepping right foot back, plank. So we have our choices, right knee can come down, makes it a little kinder. Or roll the heels over to the right side, press the right palm, left hand sweep to sky. Again, maybe we're taking this a little stronger for wild thing. Left hip toe, step to the floor behind right knee, press into left hip toes to lift the hips, turn the sternum, the gaze to ceiling, left elbow, shoulder, back alongside the ear. Unwind, gaze to mat, step you back into plank, knees chest in cobra or coming forward on the toes for chaturanga, up to facing dog, hug the elbows in, backs of the feet turned down, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, the chest, the chin. Roll forward. Knees find the mat. Big toes come together. Hips press back into heels, lengthen. Forehead gently rest. Your forehead is down. Hands, they can slide back. Palms up alongside the heels. Let the elbows and the shoulders soften, sink down. Three more breaths, but make them count. Every exhale, a real big deep, soften and release through the body from crown to toes. Last breath. Hands here, work their way back alongside shoulders. Soft pressure to palms, lifts the heart, lifts the chest, lift the chin, lift the gaze. Hands walk their way forward. Choices, so hands can go one way, feet can go the other, or we can cross our shins and draw gently. Hips back in towards the mat, fingers alongside the hips. Push away the floor to lift the hips over heels. And bring hips back into the center of the mat. Here, we're drawing right shin in, a flex in the left foot, the spread in the toes. A hug on the navel. Draw gently left hip back. A press into tail, keeps the flex in that left foot. Our inhale, a press to tail, sweep hands, chest, chin, gaze to ceiling. And the exhale, fold forward, chest, chin and forehead extend towards the heel. Let hands come to land, doesn't matter where. Soft, gentle hug on the exhale with the elbows, bring the crown towards the toes. Shoulders soften, breath slow. Head hang, effort release. Let here, right hand sweep around, find sacrum or top of the left thigh behind the back. Gentle pressure into left heel. Left hand at shin or ankle or the first two fingers and thumb, take the big toe. Kick gently away the left heel. And our inhale. Draws right shoulder back, twisting, turning, sternum, chest back through the right shoulder. Take 
Shoulder back to open the heart, the ribs, the spine, over the forearm or the hand behind the back. And if we're still comfortable, right hand sweep out. Reach shoulder ribs towards the fingers that extend. Kick gentle energy to left heel and our exhale, draw right shoulder back, broaden open across the chest, follow the hand with the fingers. And the next inhale, bring gaze back to the left foot. Our exhale, lets it go. Right hand looking for floor, left foot turning down, left hand up, over, extend from the hip out to fingers, push away the floor and rotate the sternum, the chest to gaze to ceiling. So that you extend from left foot toe to left fingertips. Exhaling, unwind, hips back to mat, left heel draw in, right heel draw out. Again, I'll flex and spread of the toes with the right foot, hug right hip back, press the tail, and our inhale, sweep hands to sky. Exhale, folding forward, it's chest and it's chin that reached forward towards the toes. The hands, they come to land, but we've still got that energy from the chest pressing to the toes. Our exhale, a soft, gentle hug on elbows, bring the crown a little deeper, and then let it go. Little wave of softness from crown to tips of toes. Just gently letting energy go. Right hand looking for shin, looking for ankle. Left hand sweeping and resting at sacrum or top of right thigh behind the back. The right hand at shin, ankle, or the first two fingers and thumb, take the big toe. Kick softly into the heel. And our inhale, draw left shoulder back, twisting, turning, sternum and chest gaze back through left shoulder. Roll left shoulder back to open the spine across the forearm, the hand behind the back. Again, strong enough, or we're taking left hand out, reaching shoulder and ribs towards the fingers, and the exhale, draw gently left shoulder back, broaden, open across the chest. Follow the hand with the gaze. Let gaze work its way back to the right foot, and then exhale, let it go. Left hand find the floor, right hand up, over, push away the floor, lift the hip. And exhale, unwind. Here, extending gently both legs away, Dandasana, seated staff pose. Press softly from the tail all the way through to the heels as if they were still standing, flexing the feet. A pressing to tail, lengthen and lift you through the vertebrae to the crown. Hands, look for floor alongside hips and the inhale, roll the shoulders back and press palms and shoulders towards the floor. The opposite energy comes back through the chest and lift the chest and lift the chin. As strong as you feel that you can be. We can keep this soft and we can let the hands walk gently back in for Shavasana. Or we can let the hands sweep forward. Roll the palms up with a curling first fingers and thumb. Press the tail and keep our energy. Nice flat straight back. Our exhale, lean you back. And every exhale from there, lean you back a little deeper. And we keep leaning back. And we keep leaning back. Try not to lift the heels, but don't worry if you do. Keep leaning back. Until eventually shoulders and back of the head find the mat. Let heels slide in, hip width behind the hips. And our exhale, find the gentle releasing twist to the right side. Nothing to achieve here other than just letting go any tension that may have built up during the practice. And then inhale, bring that back to center. Exhaling, left side. Again, try to resist the urge to control. Let ex exhale just be a soften, be a release. And then inhale, bring that back to center. Here, let knees come to rest on each other. Heels turn to sides of the mat just to bring spine back into center line. Shoulders soften, sink away from the ears. Any tension, any tightness, troubles with the back, we can all let the knees rest on each other so it's a little kinder to the spine. If the back is fine, 
flex feet, spread toes, push heels gently out to the corners of the mat. And the exhale, let go, let hips sink down. Feet just begin to gently fall out to size and the shoulders soften away from the ears. Let yourself return back to that sensation of cool air passing through the nostrils and warm air passing back out. Each exhale a soften, each exhale a release, a let go to mat and earth below. Gently, and in your time, allowing awareness to work its way back for waking life, a gentle wiggle to fingers, to toes, a soft rotation to ankles, wrists, neck and head from side to side. Deepening breath, just bringing more conscious breath back into the body. And an inhale that feels right, let's hands sweep towards the ceiling. Find an interlacing of the fingers that just gently presses away the palms overhead. Take a stretch from palms to tips of toes, come into full circle with the practice. And the exhale, letting go, elbows, shoulders soften, sink back, hands here. Sweep around, draw both fingers into chin to chest, a gentle rock or circle, twist, whatever we feel, let's last little bits of practice go for us. But when you're ready, right hand is looking at the back of the head like a pillow. Coming to lay on the right side. Just take a moment, take a pause, just a bit of kindness, a little compassion for yourself, so that you have it for others. A little peace to take in the day. When we're ready, the eyes, they soften and they open and the top leg extend away. Pressure, palm, elbows, just into mat and as slowly as you feel that you can, bring yourself back to whatever's a nice, comfortable seated pose. There needs to be no energy. And if we're done, hands are finding heart center. If you've still got things to do in your day, there's a press to tail, a lengthen on the inhale, sweeps the hands in a full length of the inhale up to ceiling, lift the chest, lift the chin, lift the gaze. In the exhale, find pressure in palms, hands in heart center, forehead and fingers. And a really big thank you for your practice, everyone. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.